Hello viewers, in this video I'm going to present ASP.NET Web API project how you can smoothly run the project without any error or unexpected issue. So we I just build this project using the latest.NET SDK 8.0. Uh, this is the uh, helpful project uh, API starter kit uh, in the front end uh, full user management system uh, added uh, admin LTE authentication and authorization so this is a uh, user manual how we can run the project but in this video with the uh, full step by sharing the screen I will uh, I will show how you can run the project without uh, any hassle so this is the project and we have uh, three project first one is api dot api starter starter kit so this is the api project and we i created a list of api so if we go to the controller so here is the list of apis and uh, <coughs> we have a another middle project which is code data this project is like a CLL class library project helper project you can consider this is the helper project so database migration and model and model view part uh, I just write uh, switch up code here and finally we have a user management front-end project which is ASP.NET MBC so we have uh, three projects so you have to make sure a uh, couple of things here to run this project is uh, smoothly so first you have to make sure the dotnet sdk 8.0 so you you can check the dotnet sdk version by clicking any project so api project is dotnet 8.0 also the code of data 8.0 and user management dev also the 8.0 how you can check your uh, local pc dotnet 8.0 already installed so using the terminal you can check dot uh, net version so i already installed latest version but you can check the dot other version as well by typing uh, info so um, as we can see already dotnet 8.0 uh, i install in my lo local pc so anyways uh, So I was talking about .NET SDK version. So next hour, uh, step have to make sure uh, the database connection. So in the API starter project, app setting .json file, you have to make sure database connection is string. So I try to make this uh, connection string as much as uh, dynamic as this project is supported multiple da multiple database. So this project is supported MySQL, PostgreSQL and also um, sql server as well so here is the uh, different connection string uh, you just pick anyone from here and pass here the connection string name so db connection string so system will uh, read this connection string name here so uh, for sp.net mbc or web api uh, database connection uh, string details i have uh, created another video you can check that uh, video as well so i will share that video with the details uh, how we can make sure uh, like how to connect database properly in sp.net mbc project uh, code first project with entity framework so once you make sure the database connection is string properly uh, then uh, already as uh, i already created the database migration so you don't worry about the database migration so once database connection is ready with the proper parameter like username password and other things then uh, we have uh, like 60 percent ahead to run the project without uh, any difficulties so our connection string is ready so you can use uh, first one which is uh, Windows authentication and second one is SQL server username and password so I suggest please use the second one because once you publish the IS then it might be issue with the first one so better to use always SQL server username and password 
okay i'm jumping to the uh, third part which is like front end project configuration also in the front end we have a app setting.json file here i have configured couple of urls so uh, first you have to make sure like uh, base url for api project so once you run the project then uh, both api and front end project will use some port number so just uh, without number uh, on the string uh, system will use this string so i'm uh, using uh, right now 25029 for api port and the client port we are using 5031 so if uh, some cases uh, you run this project using vs code then might be port api uh, project port number is 29 and front end project is might be 30 then you have to shift by updating the string like uh, here you have to set some two and you have to remove the one like this let me show you this and also this so thing is you have to make sure the string name properly so if a port number is 28 so you have to make sure uh, by removing the number from the string like api base you are also the client base you are really might you might be co you might ask a question like why uh, client base url so client base url we have used in this project for sending email uh, some url required there that's that's why we configure here and system uh, read this url uh, for further uses so i hope you understand the front end project configuration so as we are we are running using vs visual studio so visual studio will run using 29 and 31 let me show you by running the project so as we are using visual studio so port number is 20 uh, 29 for api project and 31 for client project which is front end so just to remember your api project is first one and third one is your front end project and middle project is a uh, class library project which is uh, uh, handling the model and model view and database migration and most importantly application db context so for running this project is smoothly you have to make sure three things first one is .NET sdk second one is app setting .json file in the front end project database connection string and third one is like uh, a project base url so if i now run the project uh, let me just run the project sorry i just run the project debugging mode it will take additional time uh, let me just stop it i will run the project without debugging mode so that it will uh, run faster So this is the API uh, Swagger documentation and uh, hopefully this is login screen. So if I click the login and as it is uh, the demo version, so yeah, we have added like a username and password copy option. If I click this button, then username and password automatically, uh, automatically pass into this uh, input fields. And if I click the login, that system will login into successfully login and it will redirect to the dashboard so let me just log out so i successfully log out uh, from the system so summary is if you run this project uh, without any difficulties and complexity so, so three things uh, you have to make sure dotnet sdk uh, database connection string and the application base url so may, you have to oh, once you run the project then you can uh, check the like api project and the front end project uh, port number based on the port number you have to configure this uh, api url string name here so I build this project uh, with the .NET SDK 8.0, latest 8.0, and uh, this project is uh, three different project with uh, uh, consuming the REST API. First one is uh, Web API, SP.NET Web API, and second one is uh, .NET 
DLA library project and third one is ASP.NET MVC front-end project. So um, I have used uh, for grid, data grid like a front-end uh, jQuery data table and uh, like complete crude operation uh, we have performed a JavaScript and jQuery. Uh, let me uh, let me show you just one sample uh, crude operation demo. So here is the JavaScript. Every controller I have created a separate JavaScript folder. Let's say the department. So we have a department crude JavaScript uh, operation and the department data table. So I just configure a data table. Uh, javascript related code here and the crude operation like details add edit and save operation also the delete operation here i write the uh, de delete base operation uh, every time i'm using the base uh, method for deleting any any operation any rows in this application so this is a summary of the front end basic uh, crude operation uh, let me show you oh, sorry I just run project again with the debugging mode just run the project again uh, without debugging mode hopefully this time uh, project is uh, project we will load faster sorry already project running here so as we can see the APA project is uh, uh, port number using 29 and uh, front-end project is 31 so let me cross check and um, into the app setting.json file so we are using the right base URL 29 and 31 so other things is uh, like um, if I log in, and I will show you the department uh, grid view, uh, system setting, and the department. So this grid view have like functionality searching, sorting, designation, and also the uh, configuration of some roles. Also, additionally, we can uh, additionally we have an option like export data from here pdf copy the data csv and print option as well and uh, if you want to check the uh, like uh, api project running properly then you have to check like you have to type like port number api slash i think home yes so if it if this url returns some data uh, with array then uh, then you can consider like api project running properly and we can browse and right right here we are browsing the front-end project like uh, if i give you some a small overview of the front-end project front-end project so this is uh sp.net mbc complete user management with uh, a dynamic role base so you can create multiple role and assign uh, a role accordingly accordingly to the different user so how you can create a role then here is the uh, entire role uh, of this application you, you can select all or uh, or you can select uh, partially so already admin uh, already i have created admin role you can see the admin we can see the admin role can access entire uh, phase of this application like uh, all the role uh, admin uh, role can access role name basically so um, just closing this application and uh, if you are interested then just go to the code canyon by clicking here and after purchase you will get this user manual the complete project source code and also like a, a, a ERD diagram and other things like project architecture diagram and some video tutorials links also on the json collection of post postman collection uh, with the json file extension so thank you for watching this video see you in the another see you see you in the another
our next video and if you have any question regarding this project uh, like uh, coding uh, structure and any code sample then feel free feel free to let me know in the comment section and if you need further development and enhancement and additional uh, new project development then definitely you can uh, contact with me I, I will share my details into the video description thank you